Hello my dear students, welcome to IMS Gate Academy. Myself Sandeep Adari. Now my dear students, Gate 2024 results have been announced. Now my dear students, you might have a dilemma to choose which branch in civil engineering. So let us understand what are the main specializations in civil engineering and let us understand how we select the specialization. So in this video, I would like to cover the different specializations in structural engineering in general. Now my dear students, let us go, the first one we have is the structural engineering. So what does actually a structural engineer do? The main agenda of a structural engineer is he design. Design is a very important aspect in civil engineering. And he analyzes the structure to ensure the safety, stability, and functionality under different various environments under different loading conditions. So to be a good structural engineer, you should be very strong in the math, finite element method, engineering mechanics, structure analysis, strength of materials, reinforced cement concrete, steel structures. In addition to this, my dear students, you should be very good at the softwares like STAD Pro, ANSYS and also ETAPS. So definitely when you are good in particular specialization, if you feel this is your area, then definitely you should look for structural engineering. Now my dear students, what does a structural engineer do? Okay, now here the structural, the role of a structural engineer comes into picture in the bridge design, in the site inspection to provide a proper foundation based on the bearing capacity of the soil or any home improvements or if you see foundation development and if you see vehicle and airplane design. Now my dear students, when I come to aerospace engineering, if you see a company like GE Aviation, definitely finite element method with the structural engineering will play a very important role in the aerospace engineering and a skyscraper design. If you talk about multi-story buildings like Burj Khalifa, or nowadays in every developing countries, people are going with multi-story buildings. So structural engineer plays a very important role. Now, my dear students, let me tell you one important thing. Whenever you are choosing a specialization, please understand your basics. In which area you are mo more interested. And understand your strength. What is your level of study in the engineering mechanics? Strength of materials, fluid, finite element method. Definitely, if you are strong in these areas, then definitely you should look for a structural engineer. Now, coming to the next, construction engineering and management. What you do in construction engineering and management? Now, my dear students, if I talk about construction engineering and management, definitely an engineering degree with management will add value addition. I mean to say you will get highly paid. Because in a corporate environment, students with engineering background and updated skill environment will definitely help you to enhance your skills in the corporate world. So what does a construction engineering management role? Suppose in construction engineering, you will talk about the management. How do you do the planning? How do you do the design? How do you maintain it? What about tenders? What about estimation? How, what about the schedules? All these things you will be discussed in construction mid, construction technology and management. Now, what is the software which you have to seriously look into it? Then primary is the software where you have to seriously look into it. Now, my dear students, what is the role of construction technology and management or construction engineering and management in the real time? So, residential buildings, commercial buildings, roads and bridges, water treatment plants, school locations, hospital environments. So my dear students, there was a place where Corona has came and China has constructed 100 story building within a one month. There it requires a lot of design. It requires a lot of scheduling. It requires a lot of management. Then definitely understand this branch will play a very vital role. Now coming to the next branch we have is the geotechnical engineering. What does a geotechnical engineer will do? Geotechnical engineers specialize in assessing the behavior of the earth material. He want to understand the bearing capacity of the soil. Suppose in Burj Khalifa in a Dubai where the soil is very loose, 
you might come up with a pile foundation. Now, based on the bearing capacity or underlying rock analysis, rock mechanics in IIT Delhi is a very important branch when you talk about geotechnical aspect. Now, my dear student, let me tell you to be clear. Geotechnical with environmental background will add value addition. So, what is the role of a geotechnical engineering in the site or a design aspect where they are actually utilized? So, my dear students, if you talk about the water tank reservoir system, sewer tunnel systems, or if you talk about the pavements and roads, natural embankments. Why? Because, my dear students, when you are laying a road, if the bearing capacity is not up to the mark, then there can be a or uh, there can be instable road. I can say unstable roads. Or if you talk about the historical monuments, soil sampling and testing. For any construction, soil sampling and testing is very important. Now coming to the environmental engineering. Now let me tell you one beautiful example. We are in a world where water is less than what it has to be. So managing the water itself is a very important thing. And compare, coming to the global warming, we have to keep the technical aspects in the atmosphere also to the brim level. So, as an environmental engineering, you will have the technical specifications. What does an environmental, if they have to discharge the sewer, it has to be reduced with lesser pollutants. So, the, what does an environmental engineer do is, environmental engineers involves applying scientific engineering principles to address the environmental challenges such as pollution control, water management, water treatment, sustainability and natural environment, okay. Now, thereby you are ensuring a good health and healthy environment in the society. So, what is the role of an environmental engineer? He manages the solid waste, recycling systems, water treatments, drainage systems, crop irrigation and facilitating investigation. Now, coming to the transportation engineering, we are in a country where it is a developing country. Roads plays a vital role. There might be a position where you have to transport the goods in a very fast mode. So in transportation, again, we have railways, airways, and roadway. But definitely transportation plays a very important role. So what is the role of a transportation engineering is? for It focuses on planning, design, construction, and operation of the transportation systems. Okay, definitely, my dear students, transportation with MX roads, Definitely, it is very important and you have to seriously look into it. Now, coming to the next one, what is the role of transportation engineering? If you talk about airport design, traffic monitoring system, automated public transport, bicycle path development, road access management or pedestrian bridges. In all this, you will be seeing a transportation engineer. Now, coming to the water resource engineering, suppose if a river is flowing from one place to other place, how the there can be a how we can reduce the losses of water from when you are transporting the water from one place to the other place and what is the systems you follow all these things we will be discussing in water resources engineering a water resource engineering is a professional responsible for designing managing and optimizing water related infrastructure and systems to ensure sustainable development and efficient use of water resources while considering the environmental and social needs now, my dear students, what is the role of water resources engineering? Irrigation systems, water distribution centers, fishing facilities, waterways. This is a very serious issue. Now, my dear students, people are looking for the waterways because no traffic, less traffic, huge goods can be transported. So, definitely it has its value. Plant, nurseries, fluid production facilities. So, these are the main branches you have to seriously look into. It. Apart from this, we have interdisciplinary branches like oceanography, marine structures, petroleum engineering, earthquake engineering, rock mechanics, remote sensing. So, based on your interest, you can opt for these interdisciplinary branches. But let me conclude one important thing, students. Whenever you are choosing any specialization in India, please go with the first with the structures. Next, we have transportation. Next, we have construction technology and management, environmental, geotech, and water resources. But strictly, you have to be thorough with your basic subjects. If you want to be very good in structures, you have to be very good in strength of materials and engineering mechanics. If you want to be good in geotechnical, environmental, or water, you should be very good in fluid mechanics and also similarly like open channel flow. 
Similarly, if you want to be good in any specialization, first you should be aware of the softwares like structures, ETAB, StatPro, Geotechnical, MATLAB, or if you talk about environment also MATLAB, there will be some softwares like LabVIEW also. But in some of the softwares you, in transportation, you should be very good with Amex roads. So my dear students, every time first priority should be given to the colleges. If you are giving a good call, suppose if you are getting IIT Bombay struck, like geotechnical, in the IIT Tirupati you are getting structures, but I would recommend to go for IIT Bombay because the college has its value. Still, if you are very much passionate towards the specialization, then it's up to you and every time take your own decision. Challenge yourself because you know what is your strength, in which areas you are strong. And definitely if you are a qualified gate student means you will have the skill set to adopt the things. So even though it is difficult, you can adopt when you are studying MTech. You will have ample of time. You can spend your time in the particular specialization. And if you are willing to do PhD, my dear students, environmental and geotechnical, you will have a lot of funding. If you want to plan PhD after MTech in India, you can go abroad for the PhD programs also. So because environmental and geotechnical engineering, abroad we have a lot of funding. But in structures, we have less funding in the abroad if you want to do PhD. So people who want to do PhD abroad after completing their MTech, then definitely you have to go for environmental or geotech, I, or I can say transportation. So in this video, I hope you will get an idea on what are the specializations you have to choose and every time you should give priority to the college if it is the best college. Now what we do at IMS Gate Academy, my dear students, we at IMS Gate Academy offers 800 plus hours of gate coaching. We, you can say we are providing online, offline and also self-recorded sessions. Now my dear students, we also give you theory book, exercise book. Apart from this, we are also providing gate question booklet with 34 plus years previous year gate solutions. It covers key pointers, alternative solutions and QR code for difficult level questions where the video solutions will be available. Apart from this, we are providing doubt solving portal and mentorship sessions where the entire guidance for the entire year will be provided and we identify the strength and weakness where the weakness can be converted into strength. Apart from this, we are also providing 130 plus which covers chapter test, subject level test, advanced level test, multiple subject test and we also provide on the mock test which will be a replica of the gate environment. I hope this video will create you to uh, identify what is the specialization required for you. Uh, thank you and all the best.